good but not all of the is a good this is the thimble winter the thimble winter three months three lunar cycles where food is buried beneath the deep winter snows of the holy lands of the north. This is the time of starvation if the hunter fails, if the mighty hero does not bring home supper. Then the young go hungry. The paps in the womb are swollen, ready to give birth in a few moon cycles. But this, this thimble winter, the three giantess maidens, giantess maidens, Loki kin, Loki kin, mother goddess, calls Loki a fife in her house. A fife. Toposku Loki. A lackey. A follower. Thor calls Loki effeminate. And our birth High tard, the high leopard. This time of Fimbul winter, when that hunter Thor, the mighty hunter, supplies food, the horned wild beasts, for the young, for his family. The bear, the mighty bear, the darkness. The hunter must bring home that food in the darkness. Just like the darkness that was brought upon our northern people, the northern people of the Holy Land. I do not know the mighty lion, for the lion lives in the south. And we are from the north, the holy lands of the north, the, the Udalia. So I cannot say good or nay about the mighty lion, the king of the jungle. But to the heathens of the north land who honored the bear, who saw that bear, as their ancestor, grandmother, grandfather, the illustrious one, golden-breasted. Many names they had for the bear. Nietzvich, Nietzvich, Maka. Many names. But during the times of conversion of the Holy Roman Empire, when the heathens were being mandated by church edict, to conform, that bear, the mighty bear, had to be dethroned so they would match the king bear of the Udalia against the king of the jungle. The bear would win, not against one lion, not against two lions. Not against three, against multiple lion. In that Colosseum, the bear would emerge victorious. One single bear to destroy multiple lions. So the Holy Roman Empire had to outlaw these beasts, these battles of darkness which were meant to dethrone that bear. Because the people in the Colosseum 
would cheer on their ancestor in his mightiness. For the bear would emerge from that coliseum, brought from Scotland through Russia and all of the lands of the north as the one and only king of kings. And when the heathen northmen would emerge from the darkness after the hunt, that is how that bear was seen, to give its life so its kin, its grandchildren could survive. But that hunter would take that king, that bear, in honor, in hand-to-hand combat. For he would awaken the bear out of his slumber and not shoot it from afar, but take his own axe, his own knife, and drive it through the heart of that bear, his grandparent, his ancestor. For if he did not, the was not good.